Hi, can everybody hear me? Let me know. So, good to take a couple days off, get organized, and uh, get going for the week here. So, I think the market could fail today, and what I'd love is a short, but I just can't find one. I mean, I just can't find one. Nothing's gapping down. There's plenty of stuff that's weak, but then we'd be shorting a gap up. I mean, I'm searching for something that's even neutral to do. We could watch NVIDIA, which could have a quick, fast move up. But if the market fails, this is going to fail today, too. Um, this is the only thing I like in its own without the market. It, it could even keep going, even if the market fails, actually. Uh, but the biggest issue is that the market's up just too much today for crappy reason and it's just ripe for basically a failure so i think this is a hard morning and i'm just sitting here pretty much for the last hour and a half deciding if i want to trade today we could do a lecture today we could do a rating today we could do nothing today and i could just teach or we watch nvidia because if we do nvidia and nvidia stops there literally is nothing else to do. So, we open here in three seconds. So, there's, there's a lot of earnings out this week. It's just, it's just today that's a bugaboo here. Let's just, let's just see what Nvidia does. Nvidia fails out of the gate. I'll teach today. We'll do a rating. We'll go over some things. Again, I'd love to short the banks, but you can't short them either because they're up. Okay, keeping an open mind here. NVIDIA, very spready, but that's to be expected. Very spready, very expensive, but. No, this is failing. Anybody have any ideas? Market failing, Nvidia failing, market failing like I thought, and I, and I knew that if the if the market failed, that Nvidia would fail too. Everything was just up too much. Give me every watch you have, and if we can't find something in the next five minutes, well, I'll teach today. That's not the end of the world. We should have trades the rest of the week. There's there's a lot of stuff out this week, but again, how, what 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 will we be doing here? like let's just look around a couple of banks and see wow no volume in this Look at Foot Locker. Foot Locker is lower. Baby volume. Foot Locker open neutral. Foot Locker.
Okay, Davini is trying to go. Stop's going to be really big, though. 401.50 if we do this, and I don't have the entry yet. In fact, let's put it at 401 even. 406 by 401. It's huge. It's massive. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. There, get in it right now. This is a long, do not get confused. We rarely go long. This is a long, this is a bullish gap up. It is a massive stop. You could buy a call in it if you want. I already called calls in it, which if you're on the options newsletter, you did. Here we go, NVIDIA, 410, 409, 408, 409, 410, and we're out. The video, if you want it, you could do it. It's five dollars, so there's no messing around with that. Okay, all right. The video stop is four oh one. This gives it plenty of wiggly jiggly. Also, very widespread considering the price point. Actually, it's not that bad. I gave it a really big stop for a reason. We're trying to get one push up. I don't even know if we'll get one R out of it, but money is money. It's basically a Monday, even though it's a Tuesday because the market was closed yesterday. Again, they think they have a debt ceiling deal. So of course the market is reacting positive the last 48 hours. Friday, we had the rally and then today. However, they're talking again about the fact that they're gonna raise interest rates. And as you well know, I never thought that they would get off raising interest rates. So it's going to be a wild week, put it that way. They didn't pass the debt ceiling yet. That's number one. And number two, there's more talk now about them raising rates, which I do think they're going to do, and I never thought they would stop doing it. Okay, I'm in NVIDIA with a stop at 401, and if you did it, let me know. Safe exit for the option is to be out of it now. Boom. On the open. When you have a gap up like we did. Phone locker is a possibility here too. 26.50. It's just so thin. If you don't want to do NVIDIA, 26.70 you could put the stop. It's really good actually. It's a really good stop actually. But I, I, it opened neutral. It's just, I don't know how much traction it's going to get today with a lack of volume. So we're in NVIDIA and we're holding. And this is the one thing that could go without the market. But if the market fails big time, this will fail. So it's a crapshoot here with this. One of the strongest stocks in the market, if not the strongest stock in the market, has acted better than Apple. And again, this had earnings last week. Um, and again, sometimes it takes a little time for it to make a move. And you gotta be patient and you gotta make sure you stop, uh, size yourself right for this because it was so big, so big. So if you didn't do it, you could do it right here. 406, you can, you, I mean, you can't mess around too much longer here. We are still gonna be out of this fast. Quickly, quickly, quickly. One push over the high to see if we can get it to 410. We can, I will take it. And we will run to the bank today and call it a morning. Here we go, NVIDIA over the high here. We're almost at 408, who did it with me? Did anybody do this again? You could have bought calls if you didn't want to do it as a day train. Make sure you're in the right way. This is a long, we rarely go long. We rarely go long, but sometimes we do, and sometimes we have no choice. <laughs> we have no choice because there's nothing else to do. Here we go, 408, here, boom, boom, ba -da boom, ba -da -da boom. Here we go, 408, 409. 410, count every penny. I kept an open mind about this today, but we really could have done nothing. We could have done nothing. And I'm the only one probably in the planet that still thinks the market's lower at this point. So I'm probably the only one on the planet, but I do. So we'll see. Here we go. 408.35. Ooh. I'm the only one in the world. 53s. Here we go. 64. Here we go. One more push. One more push. One more push in the video. Good start to the morning. Good start to the week. Look and see what we have out for tonight then. You could be out of this here. 
It's wiggly jingly. It's very expensive. If you did it and you're nervous, you could take it right here. No one said you have to hold this at all. This is more than $2. This is a half an hour right here. Plus one more push for me, but you could be out. Okay, who's in it? 84. Remember, longs are very, 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 very different from shorts. So different. Extremely different, which is why we prefer to go short. Here, new high. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting close to 409. There we go. Woo! Come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Come on. One more push. Damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh! Done. Close enough. And that is a good trade. Here, we're going to get to 410. Again, I think it's so much easier to hold options than day trades in something like this, particularly and when you're in a long, because as you well know, once, once it comes down, it comes down. So who is still in the option here? There it goes, over 410. Shelly, did you do the option? I hope you did. I hope you did. All right. Wow. Great start to the week here. Let's look what we have for, for tonight. Is anyone still in it? Again, I think.